Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. In continuation with our previous application, which is you done with DC motor. Now we are moving to the next motor from devices, which is stepper motor. So in general, the DC motors are rotating 360 degrees, but whereas applications looking for some accurate positions. So generally, like if you go with CNC machines or robo hands or legs, if you are working with those kind of applications, so compulsory you need to understand this stepper motor and how they works and how to interface these stepper motors with microcontrollers. The stepper motor again, which is available with uh, depends on the voltage rating and current rating. And the third parameter is step angle. So in DC motors, we will proceed with RPM, but whereas in stepper motors, you need to consider these three important characteristics. So how much voltage it requires to run and how much current it is going to take and how much step angle it makes for one step. So before every stepper motor has its own standard characteristics. So you need to check it, how much step angle it will make for each step. And coming to the types of stepper motors, they classified into two types, unipolar stepper motors and bipolar stepper motors. Whereas in unipolar stepper motors and bipolar stepper motors, classification depends on the number of turns or number of coils present in the stepper motor. And basically every stepper motor is constructed with a simple permanent magnet inside and around that they are making this coil mechanism in a cyclic way. So whatever the leads you are getting, so this it will come the number of leads of your stepper motors. The stepper motors are available with 4 lead or 6 lead or 8 lead, depends. So the classification again, if you are finding 4 lead stepper motor, it is treated as bipolar stepper motor and more than 4 leads, it may be 6 leads or 8 leads which is considered as a unipolar stepper motors. What they are doing this uh, 4 lead and 6 lead. So once you are looking for unipolar stepper motors, the taps will be more on the coil. So this is as your unipolar and if you are proceeding with 8, then you will get 2 taps on the coil. So again it will become 7 and 8. So if you are looking to work with this 6 lead or 8 lead stepper motors, your step angle should be less and if you are daily dealing with bipolar stepper motors, it will come up with standard 4 leads. So this coil construction should be in a circular, circular way if you observe the internal things. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the 4 leads you may find from bipolar stepper motors. Okay. So this bipolar and unipolar stepper motor depends on the number of turns, that's it, they classify. But again, you have to consider the voltage rating, how much voltage it requires to drive and how much current it is going to take. And what happens if you are looking to rotate this kind of stepper motor? Generally, your DC motor come up with two standard leads, plus and minus, that's it. But in the case of, in the case of stepper motors, you need to count first number of leads and based on that you need to follow your step sequence either to rotate clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. So you have to follow the step sequence compulsory. You cannot provide a different logics across the leads. You have to follow the sequence compulsory to finish your 360 degrees. And as like as your stepper motor your DC motor which cannot stop at accurate positions okay so once you give the supply it will start rotation and even if you remove the supply for your DC motor it takes some time to turn off so that is the only reason for all kinds of positions or all kinds of angle based applications you need to consider stepper motors compulsory okay so now coming to this step sequence what is meant by step sequence for your stepper motor and how much angle it is going to make if you take out your 360 degrees rotation, 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360. 
So whereas in bipolar stepper motors, so they are following logic like this: one, zero, zero, zero. So that your stepper motor will energize only one part of the coil. So because of this voltage flow through this coil, it produces some magnetic force. And this magnetic force, which will work on your permanent magnet, is an attractive force or repulsive force. Because of this step, you need to hold some time with this logic 1, 0, 0. Then your stepper motor will wait, will take one step. One step means it will make 90 degrees from 0 to 90. And you are moving to next step, you have to follow the sequence compulsory. This is 0 and this is 1 and this is 0 so that your sequence should be like this and 0 0 1 0 for this your second step which is from 90 to 180 so your motor cannot move direct 360 degrees as per your sequence logic your motor will take each step and for each step there is a certain angle for your bipolar stepper motors for each step it is taking 90 degrees. The second step angle is 180 and sequence is 0, 0, 1, 0. And you are looking for third step, then you need to change your logics 0, 1, double 0. This is 270 degrees. We will go for third step. And you are looking for fourth step, just change your logics across your leads, which is 360 degrees. This is fourth step. So to finish your 360 degrees, which is taking 4 steps, 90, 180, 270 and 360. These are the 4 number of leads for your bipolar step parameters. And coming to unipolar, so what should be the step sequence for unipolar step motors? Depends on the coil number of leads and you can decide that the step angle. Step angle formula is very clear. So 360 degrees divided by number of leads. Suppose you are getting 6 leads for your unipolar stepper motors. So 360 degrees divided by 6, you will get 60 degrees. And for 8 leads, you may get 45 degrees. So if number of leads are more, you will get less step angle for your stepper motors. So the sequence again for unipolar stepper motors, are, there are 6 leads. A, B, C, D, E, F and you need to follow this sequence compulsory don't make the logics high for other inputs and for next step 0, 1, double, 0, 0, 0 like this so this is how you have to follow the proper sequence to make your stepper motor rotation on your angle basis so this will help you to work your stepper motors at accurate positions like you are looking for 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 60 degrees angle so for all this this is very important for robotics kinds of applications or industry level CNC machines or any any kind of applications you may find this stepper motors more and more and so this this is the simple difference so even the stepper motors in real time, they are using many more applications. So if you watch clear. Okay. Then how to interface these stepper motors? They may use one driver IC because they will work with some ampere rating. And stepper motors are driven through uh, driver ICs which is two ULN2003 or ULN2803. So these are negative drivers which are available for stepper motors driving because they will work with very like 1 amp current rating and the driver capac driving capacity of this VLN driver IC is 12 volts from 5 volts to 12 volts and 1 amp current rating and coming to this VLN driver IC which provides us the standard pins if you are dealing with VLN 2003 we will get 7 inputs 7 outputs and if you are proceeding with VLN 2803 we get 8 inputs, 8 outputs. So the pin construction is very simple. You will find 16 pins from ULN 2003. So 
the input one and output one. So which is a combination of NOT gate always. So if you are giving logic one input, you will get logic, so like zero volts output. Logic one input and 12 volts or whatever you are connecting across this is. So input one and output one, input two, output two. So the opposite pin is the equivalent output pin of this ULN driver axis. So they are using this ULN driver axis to drive your stepper motors and applications. If current rating is too much, then you have to go for another driver IC. Depends on the current rating requirement of your stepper motors. And eighth pin is ground and ninth pin is VCC. So whatever the voltage you are providing across VCC, that will be connected with output line of your driver IC. This is ULN2003. So all inputs are connected with iOS. Suppose if you are trying to interface this stepper motor with microcontroller, so you can choose any one of the IO port from the controllers from 2.0 to 2.7. I'll give all the connections with IOs input lines and outputs are connected with a stepper motor which is unipolar or bipolar. That depends on your choice. But the number of leads, whatever you have, you have to connect with output lines. This is how you can manage your ULN, ULN driver IC uh, to interface with your stepper motor. The stepper motor which is connected with ULN driver IC. And step sequence should be 1 triple 0, 0 1 double 0, 0 0 1 0, 1 triple 0. So you can interface your stepper motors through any, any one of the driver IC. Even there are other driver ICs are available for applications which are like L293D or transistors, you can go with any kind of applications. Okay, so this is your a simple application requirement for any any kind of stepper motors. Okay, so you can you can see more applications on this uh, channel. Uh, please subscribe our channel for more videos and applications. Thanks, thanks for watching.